Hello, Erica here. Um, I feel a little out of practice today. I haven't actually filmed anything in like two and a half weeks. I think a lot of people have post-holiday madness lethargy right now, and I'm one of them. But I'm here today to do a review of a book that I recently talked about in my Bout of Books 12.0 wrap-up. That is Magic for Beginners by Kelly Link. This is a short story collection that was published in the United States in 2005. And I believe she has a few other collections. I know one is called Stranger Things Happen. One is called Pretty Monsters. And she has a new collection coming out later in 2015. So I'm really excited about that. So this is a collection of nine short stories. They're almost kind of long for short stories, but they're not terribly long. All of the stories have like a fantastical or magical realism element to them and some of them are more fantastical than others and the stories are very bizarre. I think the word bizarre really epitomizes Kelly Link's um, style of writing and like her own. She has a unique brand of like magical realism and fantasy. She's definitely embraced the genre and made it her own. Um, I was sucked in immediately by each of these short stories, which I think is a very important quality in short stories. So, I mean, from paragraph one, page one, every single one of these stories grabbed my attention immediately. And because they grabbed my attention so quickly, even though, as I mentioned, they're on the longer side for short stories, I read them all very quickly. They're very enthralling stories. Um, obviously, I can't talk about plot too much because it's short stories, but um, each of the stories is, like I said, has magical realism to it, but they're all set in very human contexts, and they're a lot about human interactions and friendship and loss and how we deal with grief and how we deal with loss and how we feel and what we do when we feel like our world might be falling apart. So underneath all the fantastical elements of the stories and the bizarre elements and the strange, inexplicable things that happen to some of the characters, there is this deep-seated appreciation of human nature. And I really enjoyed that. It was very poignant. I feel like each story kind of felt like a puzzle to me. Like it was kind of challenging, like a puzzle or a riddle. And I was trying to figure it out because I feel like with magical realism, it's not like you know, reading a high fantasy or epic fantasy where there's a lot of world building. With magical realism, the fantastical elements are just there. They don't receive any explanation, which is fine, and I love it. But, and I've never read any short stories that have such a heavy magical realism element to them. And I feel like with short stories, I didn't have necessarily, like, time to adjust or acclimate myself to the magical realism in them like I might with a novel and so each one kind of felt like a riddle and like there were these little pieces that had to be fit together so I could figure out and like conceptualize the world in which they were set. I highly recommend this. It's very accessible. I will say there's a little bit of graphic language use, um, a little bit of violence, nothing too crazy though. I think this is a great collection for anyone who likes fantasy or likes ma magical realism, maybe wants to get into more short stories. I think that this is a great collection for someone who maybe reads a lot of literary fiction but wants to get into more magical realism-based fiction or fantasy. It's a really good midway point between a lot of genres. It kind of intersects you know, you have the short story form, and it's pretty literary, but it also has these magical realism elements. And so I feel like this is a very accessible collection of short stories, even though they are kind of weird. <laughs> if you're interested, I will link down below to my Goodreads review, because I have, in my Goodreads review, rated each story, star rating-wise, individually. Um, I did give the collection 4 out of 5 on Goodreads for now. It's really more like a 4.5 or 5 because since I read it, which was a couple weeks ago, I can't stop thinking about it. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If you've read this and have thoughts, also let me know in the comments. I'd love to get some discussion going on it. 
because I don't know too many people who have read it. And that is all I have today. Thanks. Bye.